Can you explain the role of trance in healing or is there anything you want to say about trance in healing? Yeah, the trance, wow. Okay, so there's so many ways that we enter, I just generally, you know, um, so many ways that we enter into trance. Um, we can enter into altered states. Like I was uh, preferencing before, I entered into altered states through, you know, quote unquote, mental health um, experiences. Um, when we give birth and we, you know, when we, we as mothers and we're giving birth, like we enter it into a definite portal, an altered state to, to, to birth a child. Um, you know, um, we can even choose to be in an altered state literally by, you know, how some of us are dreamers and you know, the Pisces very much, you know, a dreamer and can just go off and, and, you know, not be in the room. And that's considered like a transient altered state as well. Um, and, um, in the, in the tradition, you know, it is a part of being a medium in relating with the ancestors is getting out of our minds, getting out of the ego, um, and allowing this deep heart connection to our inner knowing and to our spirit into our ancestral guard, guardians of light to show up, right? Um, when, so, so definitely during divination, we move into altered states, but how I learn or how we learn together is many different ways. Sometimes there's particular medicines and there's a regimen where in order for me to be a vessel, then there are particular cleansing protocols um, so that I move into those spaces carefully and safely and um, with honor and with respect um, to, to the body and to this great planet that we're on and to the spirit world. Um, so there's a lot of uh, sacred medicines that are involved um, in helping us to cleanse and purify and be, to be a vessel to move into those spaces well. Um, and, and we also use dance as a way of, of entering into trance, uh, which is you know, across many traditions. And, um, and so the, the dance uh, is called Gita um, and it's specific ancestral movements in, uh, that our ancestors practice um, specific steps and dances, specific set of drum beats that will call in a water energy um, or a energy of the fire. Um, uh, so the, the drum patterns are important in helping to induce a trance a space. Um, the song, the resonance of a song towards your spirit, you know, there are many songs sung. Uh, during initiations and rites of passage. And there were some that immediately just switched something on and connected my DNA, like my memory. I could feel the light turn on inside of me where I was automatically gracefully taken in, into this altered space. Um, so the, the dance, the cleansing is so important. And then moving into dancing, sweating, um, allowing the feet to touch the earth. And as we're doing that, the energy is raising and moving through the feet all the way up to the roots and opening spaces within our umbilini. You've probably heard of this uh, term before, umbilini. It's a Zulu word that it's very similar to the kundalini energy of, of um, some of the Asian countries. And umbilini is the two snakes coiling, right, um, uh, you know, through the spine. And yes, the coil. And so feeling that heat rise through the movement of the dance and calling in the memory of the ancestors in the body, right? Because they're in our, the, the, the memory is in our cells, in our blood, in our DNA, and um, connecting to that. And that will help us to travel into altered states. <laughs> 